Here we are at home guys, waiting for the text from the manager to let us know if we've made it into today's match day squad at Wembley or not. Very nervous wait and guys here comes the message now. I have been picked in the starting lineup for today's game at Wembley in the championship playoff final. I cannot believe it. Mark McNulty playing up front as well. Guys, this is a huge, huge game. I'm literally, literally just fit enough. You don't understand how nervous I was when I was simming through the games and I got to this point in the save and I didn't retry anything. Nothing changed because it was an injury and I literally came back a day before this game was ready. I had a training session and here we are now about to get underway. We're going to talk to Olisi Hey Mateo, I'm so excited that you made the squad. This is huge, man. You don't understand how much we need you in this match day squad. Me and you, we're going to do this today. We're going to get ourselves promoted to the Prem. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, here we go. Elise is pumped. I'm pumped. We're going to get there. We're going to get to Wembley, guys. We're heading there right now. He's going to hop in the car with me. I'm going to drive him off to the Medesi. We're going to hop on the away bus, and we're going to get ourselves to Wembley Stadium for today's game. It's going to be huge. Reading against Brentford in the championship playoff final. There's going to be extended highlights of this game. As you can see from the lineup, Elise starting on the right. Wormbloom starting on the left. Laurent Swift in the midfield. Bright. At center attacking mid and we've got McNulty up front with Richards Moore Morrison and Watson at the back and Raphael in goal as for the probable lineup for the opposition as you can see Tony's in there once again they cause problems for us Jensen as well and De Silva caused problems for us when we played them last so let's hope that doesn't happen again there we are guys we're heading to the stadium now we're gonna arrive at the Medeski we're gonna meet up with the squad and we're gonna get underway with the biggest game of Matteo Bright's life Probably even Elise's life to date, guys. The championship playoff final, and we're heading to Wembley. It's going to be huge. I'm excited, and I've never been more nervous in my life for a game. It's just a game against Brentford, but there's so much at stake. Here's the manager. Here's the squad. Everyone's ready to hop on the bus. The manager is looking a bit nervous. So are the players, guys, but at the same time, everyone's looking so excited to be heading to Wembley. I know there's a lot of fans I've seen heading out there, guys, on the way here. People are already driving up to Wembley Stadium here from Reading. It's not too far to go. Just a couple of hours in the car, so everyone's making their way up there. At least he's just saying in the car to finish something off. We're going to be heading here with the team, guys, and we're going to be getting into this game against Brentford at Wembley Stadium. Here we go go this is it this is huge this is the pinnacle of the season we've worked so hard to get where we are we've had an injury we've lost Mete we're still here we've still made it to the championship playoff final against Brentford here we are there is the playoff final trophy we've arrived guys look at that cannot believe it we won on penalties and I wasn't even playing and the squad managed to pull through and play against Brentford in the finals, guys. This is it. This is huge. You have no idea what this means to Mateo, guys, in the lineup for today's game. So scared that we weren't gonna, even going to get picked because of the injury, but we became fit enough. We trained hard. We kept fit at home just in time. Our dislocated shoulder has worn off. Let's hope it doesn't come back in this game, that's for sure. And we're going to be getting underway very soon with this game with these extended highlights. The final game of season one the championship season here will we get promoted to the premier league and stay with Reading for another season or will we not will we have to decide our future in some other means guys it's so exciting it's so nerve-wracking trying to figure out what is going to happen we're going to go through the lineup here once again looking at the bench as well we've got some decent players on the bench Puska starting this one on the bench even Zhao starting this one on the bench of all the players that Reading would start they started Mark McNulty up front which is crazy I've never seen him play this season right in center attacking mid Wormbloom left Alicia right Laurent Swift in the midfield guys it's going to be a huge game this one as you can see from the Brentford lineup as well a couple of yellow cards in there they've got Tone and Bembo uh, Jensen, De Silva, Norgard, Henry, Pinnock, Jansen. So many good players here that have been doing well this season for Brentford. And guys, there's no wonder they're in the playoffs, guys. They've made it here just as good as we have. They've played well this season. And here we are, getting underway with the kickoff. Mark McNulty there starts this one off for Reading. And we want a result from this game. This is the last game of the season. This is all that matters. And we've lost the ball early on here. Getting underway with the first chance. And here it comes in the third minute for Reading. Pushing down the pitch is Matteo Bright running down the middle. Looks to get this one wide here. Lays it wide now to Olisi. Olisi pushing down the right wing now. He's got a chance to lay the central. He does. He lays it to Bright. Bright takes the shot. It's been blocked 
by the Brentford defenders and gets cleared out of play unfortunately and away guys here they come now Brentford though looking dangerous on their first attack Tony there putting into the box they got a great chance a great tackle from Richards and the ball's been cleared out of play but not far enough and Dasselgaard kicks it down here for the chance for the Brentford man lays it forward to Tony Tony's on the ball lays it in a great chance to make it 1-0 great save from Raphael what a save and Tony hits it out for a goal kick to Reading Oh, 15 minutes in. Here we come with the first chance of the game, though, for Reading. Can we do something with it now? Can we make it 1 0 in this game? Bright lays it there to McNulty. McNulty back to Bright. Can he do it? Yes, he can. It's going to be 1 0. Shot just wide. Oh, we thought it was going to be in. The shot went wide, and it wasn't meant to be for Mateo Bright. Missing our first chance of the game. First real good chance. Bright now on the ball again. Laying it forward there to McNulty. McNulty pushing forward on the chance now. Lays it back to Swift. Swift to McNulty. Back to Swift again. Here we come with a chance now. Lays it to Bright once again. Bright cuts inside. Can he do it now to make it 1-0? Oh, it's been saved again. Mateo Bright. I think that's his third shot of the game. Each one has been saved or blocked. And we're here again with a chance for Brentford now. 30 minutes in. They are coming forward with a counter-attack. Jensen on the ball. Great tackle from Bright to see the opposition out of this one. And here we come pushing down the pitch now. Trying to get away with it. Can we lay this one off and push forward? Yes, we can. And here we come now with the next chance for Brentford. 43 minutes into this game. Jensen on the ball here. Going to get a tackle by Morrison. No, Tony's through. Tony's going to take a chance here. He's going to do something. No, Moore has done well and got a great tackle in there. But an interception from the player is going to take a chance here. Oh, no, it's been saved. Oh, no. Oh, it didn't go in. We cannot afford to concede here. We cannot afford to concede. We're up to half time now. Can we do something with it? Bright on the ball here. We've got a counter-attacking opportunity. Olisi running down the right wing now. We've got Bright in the middle. It's Bright wasting a back heel from Olisi. There it is. It's gone to Bright. Bright lays it off to McNulty. It's in the back of the net. We have gone one nil up here. Reading one. Brentford nil in this championship playoff final the man who has barely played this season Mark McNulty going and scoring the opening goal at Wembley in this championship playoff final this back heel from Olisi there to Mateo who instantly lays it to McNulty who fires it home to make it 1-0 in this game Mark McNulty what a man what a player to come through at this time of the season goes and scores the opening goal here on the halftime mark. There goes the halftime whistle. We have gone 1-0 up at the halftime stage of this game, guys. What a way to go into the break. What drama here. Three shots from Mateo Bright in that half. All of them saved greatly from the defense or the goalkeeper. But McNulty manages to get a goal. And Mateo Bright manages to grab himself an assist. And now we're going to be heading on in to the second half here. With Brentford 1-0 down. Reading 1-0 up. Can we hold this lead till the final whistle? Looking nervous now, 51 minutes in. Here comes a chance for Brentford, though. Tony on the ball. This game is definitely not over yet, especially when he gets through like that. Gets past the defence, and what an interception. Moore playing out of his skin at the moment to keep Reading in this game. And great tackle that was indeed. The Silver laying it forward to Tony once again. A chance coming for Brentford. They're pushing forward into the box now. Lays it off here. Jensen there to De Silva. De Silva crosses it into there. A ball comes in, and great defending from Reading. I think it was offside in the end, luckily enough. We did manage to get it clear, though, which is good. Now, a quick substitution, as you can see here. The goal scorer, McNulty, being subbed off in the 56th minute. He's done his part in this game. Now, Lucas Zhao is coming on to do his. Can he perform in this game, guys? It's the biggest game for him to perform in. Here we come now with a chance. 58 minutes in. Tony on the ball for Brentford. They're pushing forward. They've had a lot of chances in this game. I'm surprised they haven't scored. Jensen on the ball now takes a shot. Great block from Morrison. Reading's defending is on point today. And here we come now with the next chance of the game coming for Mateo Bright. Looking to get this forward to Swift. Swift looks to get it back in, but he can't quite find a pass. He's got Rounders man, and it's going to be a free kick here on the edge of the box for Reading. 62 minutes into this one. And your man, John Swift, the set piece specialist for Reading, is stepping up for this free kick, guys. 62 minutes into this game. Reading 1, Brentford 0. Can John Swift convert this one and make it 2-0 in this game and possibly seal our promotion to the Premier League? He steps up and it hits the wall, unfortunately. Doesn't make it on target. And here we come now with the next chance. 65 minutes into this game. Moore holding it at the back. Lays it there to Bright. Bright pushing forward now. We've got a chance for Zhao. Zhao back to Bright once again. Bright's pushing into the space now. Cuts inside. Lays it to Zhao. Yes, he does. Zhao takes the shot. It's in the back of the net. It's 2-0 in this game. 66 minutes played. And Lucas Zhao goes and scores what could be the game. 
winning goal. 2-0 to Reading in this one. What a fantastic piece of play that was. Another assist for Matteo Bright. And what a goal for the substitute, Lucas Zhao. Look at this from Matteo. Cuts inside there with a piece of skill. And Zhao takes a touch and then smashes it home on the underside of the bar. And he is showing everybody why he wants to be in the Premier League. Lucas Zhao scoring his goal in this game. And what a happy Reading team this is, guys. 2-0 in the championship playoff final. Now a substitution for Reading. Watson off. And I think uh, someone's coming on it right back in his place. Guys, what a crazy game this is so far. 2-0 on the scoreline. Can we get any more? Are we going to hold this lead, this nice little lead we've got to the final whistle? Here we come with the next chance. Bright looks to lay it through, but the man's gone offside. Tries to get it back to him there. Takes a shot. A quick snapshot. And Raya makes a great save to see it out for a corner kick here. 70 minutes in. Still 2-0 to Reading. 75 minutes in the game now, but a chance coming forward for Brentford. They're looking to get one back. They're looking to really push. They've got nothing to lose now. They're 2-0 down. They want to get a goal, and they just can't figure out a way through this Reading defense who have come together so nicely in this game. Here we come now. They're they just can't figure out what to do with the ball. They're just passing it back and forth and back and forth. And now they're going to come inside. Can they do something with it here? They're just waiting. They're trying to find a way through this defense. And we pushed up really nicely trying to get the ball back. And there it is. Wormblum making a great interception. And here we come now on the ball. A great chance. Lucas Zhao's laid off from Mateo Sprite. Amazing ball. Can Zhao do it to make it three to put this game to bed? Yes, he can. We're heading to the Premier League. We've made it 3-0 in this game. 80 minutes gone. Zhao going and scoring again. And another assist for your man, Mateo Bright, guys. Mateo played a clinical part in this game. Zhao scoring the third goal in this one. Look at that for a through ball. Spots him. And what a finish this is from Lucas Zhao. Absolutely phenomenal from Reading, guys. We've done it when we need to do it. Lucas Zhao scoring his second goal in this game. And that's a hat-trick of assists for Mateo Bright. The number seven, the 17 year old in this game. Alusi's done his part. He's heading off the pitch. Everyone gives him a clap. And Aluko is coming on to replace him for the last 10 minutes. 3 0 to Reading. We will be heading to the Premier League this season very, very soon. Another chance coming forward now, though. Bright on the ball, pushing through in his own. He's looking to get a goal for himself. Can he make it four? Bright with the shot. And it's just gone wide. <laughs> He's not going to get one today, I don't think. 90 minutes into this one now. Swift pushing forward. Here we go with one final chance. Look at that space. Lays it off there. Tries to get a quick one to Zhao. Zhao takes the shot. And it's been blocked by the goalkeeper. And I think, guys, we're into the final minute of added time. One minute away from Premier League next season. Can we do it here? One. 30 seconds to go. 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Here we go. The whistle's about to blow. We've done it. We've made it to the Premier League. 3-0 on the scoreline here at Wembley. McNulty, Zhao, Zhao, three assists for Matteo Bright. And we've come away with an absolutely stunning victory here. Matteo's first game back in two months. And what a game it was. The boys celebrating. And don't, you can't blame, look at this guys. We've done it. All our hard work this season to get ourselves to the Premier League, led us to third place in the championship table to a promotion place for the playoffs. And we did it, we've won the finals. And here we are guys, about to lift the playoff final trophy guys. We've done it, we've made ourselves get this far. We've worked hard as a team, just like Zhao said early on in this guys. And we're a squad, we've made it here. We've done the deed. We've got the result. We're heading to the Premier League, guys. Let's take a moment to celebrate this one with the boys. Let's go. We're going in the Premier League. guys I'm back I'm speechless I'm tired that took it out of me commenting commentating on this game it really did what a fantastic performance I'm just so happy that we've done it we've made it we've got promoted we're going to the Premier League next season guys let me know your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments below leave a like on this video if you've enjoyed this season it's been freaking awesome doing it alongside all of you and guys here we are heading back to the Medici Stadium in absolute 
awe of what we have just achieved. There's the squad all happily chatting about everything. The manager's out the front of the bus and he quickly ushers us over for a quick chat before we get going. And uh, we go say hi to him and just making our way around, looking at the squad players. Everyone's so happy. We're going to have a quick chat with the manager now. Ah, Mateo. Just fantastic. Three assists. You played so well. And I just wanted to thank you for coming back into this game after your injury and putting on such a performance. When you're finished with your holiday this summer, come and have a chat with me and uh, we can negotiate you a new contract. I think you definitely deserve one and I think Premier League is going to do you well. So make sure you contact me as soon as you're ready after the summer. Take your break, go relax, get rested and then we can get ourselves sorted out. Alright, catch you later man. Guys, the manager has just offered us a new contract negotiation which we can talk about in the coming episodes guys for now this is the end of our time here at reading for this season but just as we say that our phone starts ringing it says an unknown number we got a call and uh we go and take a quick look at it and see see what it's all about and uh guys it's from someone we don't know and he has this to say mateo i work with david Barr, the guy from the betting shop I heard you calling, and when you hung up, I saw him pull up some security footage I think you'll be really interested in seeing about a certain night back in 2010. If you're interested in this information, get yourself to South Africa and meet me outside the main building. If not, then I won't bother, but I think this information will be very valuable to you. If you'd like to know what happened on that night, I've seen it. I think you need to see it too. Wait, what? Who are you? That night? You mean... My father? Yes, but I'm not going to talk about it over the phone. Just get yourself here, and we can discuss it more. Guys, we've just been contacted by someone who knew David Barr, the guy that was on the betting slip, the one we tried calling, and the phone just hung up. We're going to be taking ourselves right now to the airport. We're going to be paying for our own flight to South Africa. We're going to be getting there, and we're going to be finding out what happened that night. He said the security footage. Security footage of the night that my dad was taken. Or the night at the betting shop. I'm not sure what he said. But guys, we paid for our own flight here. It cost £400 to get the, late, the quickest flight out to Johannesburg in South Africa. We're going to be heading straight on it right now. And we're going to be heading on in to South Africa, guys. We're going back to where we came from. The season is finished. We've got no ties to get back into games for a couple of weeks. And this is very, very interesting. We've just won the playoff final. We'll be heading to the Premier League next season. But we really want to find out what happened to our dad. It is something we've been needing to know for a very long time. And an opportunity has arisen to get some information. Let me know your thoughts down below. That's it from me from now. Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. The season finale is coming your way. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.